everybody. I'm streaming this game. I'm drunk. I've had four shots of uh, Bacardi Spice Drum. Hell yeah! I'm just doing fucking work, man. Double kill. Killed the Mundo. I'm flashing in. I'm, I'm making mistakes. <laughs> but hey. Can't win them all. Cheers. This is a Coke. This is not a spice drum. But, and I want you to see this. Uh, that's a skull shot glass. It looks really cool. And I drank from it. I drank from four of them. There's still a little liquid in this one. Uh, you can't see it. I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to drink it. Ooh. Man, it does not seem smooth that way. I am Diana. Uh, I'm having some trouble playing Diana. Kind of. Oh, come on. Come on. That was... Come on! <sighs> but I'm not doing too bad. Look at me. Four, six, and six. I can take that. Yeah. Almost got my Abyssal Scepter. I'm going to build a Sunfire Cape as well. Hey, here's the thing. I feel like I am basically an expert at Aram. That, you know, despite any other skill level I might have here, like, I'm not a great league player, but I know what I'm doing in Aram. I know that I know that in Aram, the only thing that matters are towers. It doesn't matter how much you die, any of that, uh, how many kills you get, they don't mean a damn thing. All that matters is that you get that tower down, and that tower down, and this thing down. You fight into this. Uh, so, like, here, Kled, not to, like, call out 3 cheese Mafia, but, you know, it doesn't matter if you live or die through this. All that matters is that you get the freaking tower down. Um, <clears throat> there are too many people who put emphasis on their record in Aram. Uh, you know, whatever. I just don't care. Because all that matters is that we get that tower down. Um, when you're drunk, it's really difficult to maintain a train of thought. So, I realized I started this whole thing off with an idea of what I was going to say. Basically, I've forgotten it <laughs> for the most part. I think I'm pretty decent in Aram. Um, I know... Uh, oh yeah, I was talking about the fact that I'm building a Sunfire Cape on Diana. Because you need some health. This is a 5 on 5 constant team fight. I'm a melee champ. We're almost always around towers, under towers. I need some health to stay in that fight, to keep going. If I played Diana in Summoner's Rift, would I build a Sunfire Cape? Well, I don't know. I'm bad at League, so maybe... Probably shouldn't do that. Probably wouldn't do that in actuality. But here on uh, Aram, where I need to stay alive, I need some health to stay alive, that's a fine-ass build. I'm going to build a Sunfire Cape for armor. I'm going to build maybe a Spirit Visage for magic resist, in addition to these Merc Treads I've got. And I'm going to build some recommended items. Uh, maybe I'll make it a Banshee's Veil, because that's recommended. But after that, I'm going to build these things. But I will have some health as a melee champ, so I can get in the fights. I can stand up against Mundo and be like, hey, don't do that to me. And then here we got, we got, we got, I'm dying. Okay. Shouldn't have done that. That was a bad engage. I misread, uh, I think it was, our Kled jumped in there. I misread that Snowball and is like, hey, let's jump on this guy and attack him. That happens. If my team was going in like that, then hey, I was right there with them. We were good to go. 
Didn't happen. Whatever. We are doing poorly, though. This tower just went down. We've done hardly any damage to that tower. We're pretty even on kills. We've died a lot more than I... Uh, There we go. Yeah, threat. Uh, hey, that was a decent fight. Uh, the trouble there is, and I feel like that was a misplay on my part almost immediately after, uh, they were low health. There's no way they could have healed up to full health. This is another Aaron thing. You can't go back to heal. It's very difficult to heal. It's better to leave people at low health until you get that next team fight so they're coming in at a straight up disadvantage so then you can push the lane a bit. Um, oh wait, why am I building this for, mm, this is magic resist, that's magic resist, I don't think I need Banshee's Veil, whatever, they've got, mm, whatever, whew, ouch, we are doing poorly. That much is certain. So yeah, you health means a lot more in Aram than it normally does because you can't heal. Oh, I'm so dead. Okay, whatever. That was a weird sort of situation. <laughs> um, mostly physical damage. Let's build another recommended item. This seems cool. Drink some more Coke. Here's some product placement for you. I just really enjoy Coke. I can't believe I'm streaming this right now. Man, if I had any viewers, whew. Uh, oh, I could find, I definitely don't, there's no way. <clears throat> oh God, I've made a mistake. Oh my God, I've made a mistake. I don't know. Okay, that turned, to, turned all right for Corky. When you're drunk, it's literally impossible to pay attention to all this crap that's going on. Just, there's too many moving parts. Like, even just looking up at the screen as it's recording, you're like, wow. What happened? What happened just now? Guess I could watch my teammates do some work for you guys. Okay, they're pulling off. That actually, that went better than I expected. We weren't able to push lane from it, which is unfortunate. I mean, we pushed a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get that tower before people come back. But, there's a chance we would. And at any rate, we did push the lane a bit. I'm okay with that. See, trading life for a tower, absolutely fine in air. Good move. I'm so cool with that. We're pushing back a little bit. I'm uh, understanding my uh, deficiencies a little better and uh, working to keep those in mind. Like, I'm probably going to die in fights. I'm going to, I'm not going to respond as quickly. Uh, right now, so it's definitely better than I'm a 
tankier. A little bit tankier. I'm just gonna wait for that extra 100 gold to get this thing. And Corky's just cleaning up. All I gotta do is set things up for Corky and gosh dang. Keep the team positive. I'm just here for you guys. Oh my gosh. That So that's the other thing. In this game mode especially, it's effective to keep the team keep the enemy team down a person because it's one lane so it's not like it's not like in summoner's rift where like bot gets down a lane down one person in lane and so it's like one on two uh four on five means a lot more actually So you definitely want to keep your opponents down a person. It gets you that extra pressure to push a turret. Um, also, so like in the bot situation, jungler could come down to help him out. There's, you know, there's no ganking coming in here. Everyone's down in that one lane. That's what's happening. Uh, there's no changing that. So you know if you've got them down a person, they're down for good. This is basically like almost constant in-game tower siege. Uh, so you push that, you press your advantages. Ugh. I'm doing poorly. Like... I know that. Could I be more help to my to my team? Probably if I weren't drunk. Yeah. I almost <laughs> exited the buy screen without buying anything there. Just left base like that. Alright, so what what Aram tidbits of gold have I left you with? I've there's the health thing, there's the tower thing, there's team advantage. Kills don't matter, so yeah, like, I'm doing poorly, but the, my deaths don't actually matter. Really. Like, all that matters is what we push turrets here. And I'm not pushing the turrets very well, I'm not helping my team to push the turrets as well as I could be. Yeah, now there we go, that's a, that's a... Okay. So, we shouldn't be focusing Mundo. That's partially my fault, but I don't control my team, and they seem to be focusing Mundo there. If we're going to focus Mundo, we should push him down as hard as possible, as quickly as possible. But see, that's why you don't focus Mundo. Good job. Did we just... Okay. We did not come out on top there, but we kept it kind of even. He's stuck in there, and... Uh, let's check out what killed me. Got to do some math right now. 25, uh, 45. That was like 50-50 about. Uh, 50 physical, 50 magic. I guess I could finish building this thing. I could build another armor item. What's this? A health thing. I want that. Hmm. All right, so I do need 10% CDR. I've got 2,500 health. I'm gonna build a War Mogs. Is that a good build for Diana? No. But it's not gonna stop me. Or wait, I, mm, maybe I'll build Spirit Massage instead. Are those two items that I need for Spirit Massage? No, they are not. Okay. I'm going to consider Spirit Visage, and then maybe another armor item, actually. 
Because, like I said. Oh, maybe I'll get Zonia's. Ah, dang. Sell that. Work towards this. That was a decent push. I had a decent play there. Again, could I have done better if I were not drunk? Probably. But dang, look at that push. We're going to get their inhib from this. We might get a, a Nexus turret. Like, we can definitely... Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. Cheers. Good push, good nexus damage. Just wait for team now. So that's the other thing. You wait for your team, you don't push down the lane. This one's obvious, like, of course you're not going to push down the lane. It's 5v1. Um, but there are some less obvious moments where I've seen people make stupid mistakes as far as pushing out solo or a two, even just a 2v3. It's like, hey, you don't need to do that. You Like, you've got a team here. And see, that's the other thing. I'm perfectly willing to run out there and take hits. There are a lot of fights I'll get into in Arams where it's me versus two or three people. I know what I was just saying. Me versus two or three people while my team is fighting the rest of theirs. When I'm tanky, I can hold out and do that. Um, and so then we get a situation like this where I'm the only one who died because I was distracting two of their people and we managed to ace them. And that is a game-winning situation. Uh, it might happen right now. Like, mm, it'll be close. I think if they took out Ryze and ignored Mundo, they could probably end the game here. Uh, which isn't going to happen exactly, but whatever. We are... We're set up for this. Did I say I was going to build armor? Yeah, Zonius. Okay. See? Twisted Fate knows what's up. Yeah, that, so that could have absolutely been game there. Uh, and so now I'm going to run down here. Okay, <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> wow. So bad. <laughs> That's kind of rude, TF. Oh, TF's just going to end it. Nice. That was a game. Boom, Diata. Oh, DP, don't be like that. Whew. Boom. There you go. So I hope you got some Aram tips in there. Like you managed to make out some stuff. Oh, look at that. Corky got an S. I didn't get a box or a key or anything. Like, what the hell? Oh, guys, come on. Being so angry. <laughs> I 
Oh, come on, guys. Don't be like that. Is that the first time I've played Diana in an Aram? Wow. All right. And a C minus Diana. Can you imagine how I would have done if I weren't drunk? Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Good times. Wow. What a night. Awesome.